Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. All right, Pisces. Universe, what does Pisces need to know at this time, Pisces? Four of Cups, an offer, an opportunity of love that may be balanced, maybe at work, um, could also be um, out shopping. That's also my shopping card when you're buying something. Could be volunteering if you do volunteer work. Um, Page of Cups is under the deck, so Page of Coin is in reverse. So it could be an earth sign. Um, might be water, but I'm more concerned that, you know, it's just an offer of love coming in. Ooh, something flipped out. The Ace of Swords fell out. Sometimes when I see Ace of Swords, okay, we're getting contradictory messages here. Sometimes when, because Ace of Cups is usually always new love for me. It's not a redo. It's not as someone, you know, coming back from the past. Ace of Swords can be, because it's like, okay, we're going to try again. We're going to work on this relationship. We'll make sure it's 50-50. It's balanced. Um... May have been a problem with money with the page of coin in reverse. Also, make sure you communicate about money. Um, that would be kind of weird, though, for someone if this is new, new love. If it's old love, that may have been where the problem was. Um, might be a... May not be a lot of communication with the earth sign in reverse, the page of coin in reverse. And it may not be super stable, but I'm not going to call that yet. I'm going to wait and see. Let's go back around. Okay. Okay. Death, Queen of Swords, Hierophant. Uh, Lovers is also in reverse. Okay, and Three of Cups. All right. So for some of you, you're not going to take this offer. Uh, we have Death, which does represent a Scorpio, and Hierophant represents Taurus, and Lovers, Gemini. But for some of you, it could be with an air sign. But okay, what I'm seeing right here is that you're going to turn this offer down. There could be an offer where someone may want to have more commitment. Um, and you maybe you don't want to. There could also be this uh, Three of Cups. That's having fun with friends is the first thing I thought of. It's like, forget being tied down to a relationship. Let's go out and have fun. That's one way I can see this. Some of you are choosing work over love. Some of you are the Queen of Swords and you're looking at this relationship or this new person, person I should say, coming in and you're saying, no, that's not for me. I can see this person clearly. Uh, maybe it is a one-sided relationship. Maybe they do spend too much money. Maybe they don't want to put in enough effort or work. Uh, so this could be an X, and that may be why I got this. This might be an X for some of you coming back around and you can see things very clearly that this is not meant for you. You don't want to deal with this. Now, another way I can read this also is... Death obviously can mean change. Three of Cups is a date. Six of Coin with Hierophant can mean a relationship that is balanced. There's 50-50. There's giving. And it may be with an air sign. And it may be it's with someone at work. Lovers in Reverse would tell me, though, you may take this slow. It may be you that likes this person, and maybe they don't like you, but I'm not sure yet either with that. So let's go back around. Pisces. Empress. Oh, that's nice energy. Seven of Cups. I'm going to clarify that. Definitely looks like there's some Earth coming in. Earth sign. Two of Wands and a Page of Swords. Okay, under the deck is Magician, too. So that's like you are manifesting things. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Wheel of Fortune. What's on the other side of the Wheel of Fortune? The Ace of Wands. What is the oops, Knight of Swords fell out? What is the Two of Wands? What is the Two of Wands? Knight of Wands, yeah. Okay, it's interesting you have a lot of knights showing up here. Because even if you're young and you might associate with knights more than kings. Kings show me that that's someone who is 
you know, it doesn't matter the age. They're ready for love. They're a king. They're not going to just play around like a knight. And knights can be any age, okay? Knights can be really old. It doesn't matter. Knight of Wands. Um, but it's interesting that knights are showing up in your reading. One thing I'm seeing is there's possibility of some of you turning down one, one relationship, one offer for something different. I can see here some of you may be dealing with a player or you dealt with a player and you're going to choose, probably it looks like to me, to either ride away from this person or to choose work and not take this relationship here because you know this is a player. This is a knight of wands. Um, it almost feels like for some of you, you have two relationships going or there's going to be two that come in. They may overlap. And it almost seems like to me some of you are going to release one relationship because it's not the best. Somebody maybe doesn't treat you very well. Uh, you want to be treated like an empress. Because what I see here is like there's an offer being given, but you don't like it. You kill it with death. Because you want to be treated like an empress, guy or girl. You want to be treated very well. An Ace of Cups to me says, New love, Queen of Swords. Could be with the, could be with the air sign. We have a lot of air showing up here. But Seven of Cups is about like having like... Saying like you're not, not overwhelmed. You're seeing a lot of issues. You're seeing a lot of ideas. You're thinking... Like, where is this new Ace of Cups going to go? You're looking very clearly at those cups. You're looking at this person's character traits, how they talk, how they act, do they love you, etc. It almost feels like Wheel of Fortune turns, things change, and now you have this Ace of Wands, new passion. So I feel like for some of you, you will go ahead and take this new offer, which I'm seeing here, but I feel more like you're not going to. I feel like you see clearly this offer here is not going anywhere. It's like there's an offer of love and you see clearly it's not meant for you. It's not, this person doesn't look long-term. It's like they are showing up as a knight. They're not looking long-term. They just want something short-term. Whereas you want Ace of Wands passion. You want something that's, um... see, that's what this shows me too. This is someone who is not in it for the long haul. Page of coin reverse. It's like there's no really future with the, money or the finances and they don't want to talk finances not that you should obviously on a first or second date but three of cups can be just a date card or a hookup card a lot of times in my readings and page of swords can be that um hey okay great nice meeting you bye and if you're lucky to even get that you may not even get that text or that phone call or that conversation so it could be an earth sign that's out of balance very selfish energy it could be younger so but then i have earth over here also so Pisces, I mean, you seem to have a lot going on in this reading and it seems to be a couple things that, or at least one thing that is not beneficial. Like it's a, it's a short term fling. It's a player. It's someone who is not worth your time. It could be that you did fall in love with someone or maybe even dated this person, but you don't see it going anywhere. That seven of cups is like, where is this headed? What's, what is this person doing? What are they saying? This is confusing. And so you may end that because this is, like I said, Knight of Wands down here. And this could be at work or wherever you go with the Eight of Coin, like I always say. It's wherever it keeps you busy during the day. Some for you, because I'm seeing different scenarios. So I know these aren't going to all resonate with all of you, but it's like one of them I feel like will. Some of you may have an ex come back in, or maybe this is you. If someone seems to want to start again, they want to hurry up. They want to get things going with the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords. Very fast energy. Very, almost a little bit pushy. Like, let's fix this. Let's do this. That could also be bothering you. You don't like that. Some of you may have an ex that's coming back around who wants um, money from you, who wants to... Um, wants to get back together for money, though they're not telling you that. Because Knight of Coin Upright can be a good card. It can be the Earth sign. It can be something that's going very slowly. But again, this may be going too slow. Sometimes Knight of Coin in love readings is someone who's not moving forward. And it's like maybe you're giving Six of Coin, giving, giving in this relationship, but it's not moving. So... It's almost like I'm seeing kind of like your past history here coming out. Like, okay, you've had these players. You have people that don't move forward. You have people that are pushy. You've met this this one at work. And it's like, it's like you want true love. You want that Ace of Cups. But what do you want in each of those cups? Manifest what you want. Put it in a cup. You know, fun, honest, good looking, etc. And Ace of Wands. It almost feels like for a lot of you Pisces right now, 
If you are in something that's not working for you, death, kill it. Get rid of it. You deserve better. You deserve Empress energy. And it feels like it can come in, but you need to get clear about what you want to the universe. If there's a relationship you're in, again, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself, that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> Someone who's just in and out of your life. Cut ties. You know, just try to cut them emotionally. You know, I know people do cord cuttings and it doesn't really feel like it's working. At least just put it out there. I'm done with this person. I want to move forward. Universe, thank you. Because I do see... And this could be a third-party situation also, but it's kind of like you already know about it. Because I have two pages there. Communication. Three people maybe communicating somehow. Confusion. Because this here would actually more or less be better energy, balanced relationship with someone who's offering something that's stable. But um, this may not be good enough still for you, Pisces. You may want something better. That person may not be moving quickly. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.